Yeah. Hey, Niall. Do you have a minute? What's up? I just got a call from my mom. I think she's going to be hospitalized for a few days. What? Why? She said she keeps feeling dizzy. So the doctor decided to admit her just in case. She called an ambulance. I see. I'm worried. I'm thinking of taking a day off tomorrow to go check on her. That's a good idea. It's a weekend from tomorrow, so you can stay there for the weekend. I'll take care, Emma. Oh, are you sure? Of course. You need to take care of your mother. Thank you. Then I'll stay at her place this weekend. I'm glad to have such a wonderful husband. It's the least I can do. I'm a little worried about her dizziness. So I want to stay beside her in the hospital. I'm sure Emma will be bored if she comes with me. So if you can take care of her, that would be great. You know, Helena, I really want to support you in your decision to stay with your mother. But it's important to remember that I have responsibilities and work commitments as well. It's not that I don't want to help, but we both have to find balance. I completely understand, Niall. I'm not asking for an indefinite period of time. Just three days. I know it would be a huge relief for both me and my mom. She's been going through a tough time. And having me by her side would make a world of difference. Plus, I can manage by going back and forth between my parents' house, the hospital, and taking care of things at home. You're right, Helena. Three days isn't too long, and it would definitely bring some comfort to your mom. She's not getting any younger and living alone can be challenging. I can imagine she has a lot on her mind and worries about her health and well-being. Having you there would provide that extra support and reassurance she needs. And don't worry about Emma while you're away. I'll take good care of her. She's our priority and I understand the importance of keeping you updated about her medical condition. It's crucial for both of us to be in the loop and make informed decisions together. So please let me know about any changes or updates right away, okay? Absolutely, Niall. You can count on me to keep you informed about Emma's medical condition as soon as I have any updates. We're a team, and it's vital for us to stay connected and on the same page with her healthy journey. I appreciate your understanding and support in letting me be there for my mom during this time. It means a lot to me. And I'll make sure to prioritize both my responsibilities at home and being by your side when Emma needs us. Hey, Helena? Answer me! Sorry, Amber. I can't take your call right now. So I'm texting you. What's wrong? You're really something, you know? What? Leaving the kids outside when it's snowing so hard. What? What are you talking about? My sweet granddaughter has frostbite? I didn't think you were capable of doing such a thing. I'll sue you, and I'll raise her myself. Wait a minute. Was Emma outside in this rough weather? Yes. If I didn't happen to be there, her life would have been in danger. What the heck are you thinking? What? Emma's supposed to be with Niall. With Niall? Then why would Emma be outside in such a storm? Don't mess around with me. It's true. I was so surprised, so I called Niall. He said someone at work just passed away. So he's in another state to attend the funeral. What? He didn't say anything about that. You took advantage of Niall's absence. You left your child outside. I didn't know you were that irresponsible. Amber, wait a minute. I don't know what's going on either. My mind is completely blank. Why would Emma go outside in this heavy snow? That's why I'm going to sue you. You must be one evil mother. Amber? What? Actually, my mother was rushed to the hospital by an ambulance yesterday. What? So Niall said he would take care of Emma. He told me to stay with my mom for the weekend. So now I'm at my mother's hospital. Oh, really? Niall said you were working, so I had no idea. 
So is your mother okay? Yes, she's on IV and she seems to be stable now. Oh, well, thank God. I'm sorry about what I said. Suing you. I didn't know what was going on. No, it's... But I can't believe that Niall would go to a funeral for one of his employees without telling me. That's impossible. And Emma was left outside all alone, right? Yeah. You know, Amber, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am that you happened to be there when Emma needed help. If you hadn't been there, she could have lost her life. The mere thought of it sends shivers down my spine. It's a haunting reminder of how fragile and unpredictable life can be. It was truly a stroke of luck, Helena. I'm just glad I could be there for you at the right time to lend a hand. Don't worry about Emma while you're away. I'll take good care of her just like she's my own. You focus on taking care of your mother. Family comes first, and I understand the importance of being there for our loved ones in times of need. Thank you so much, Amber. Your willingness to step in and help means the world to me. I genuinely appreciate your support and understanding. Depending on how my mother's situation unfolds, I might need to go back home earlier than expected. But I trust that you'll continue to be there for Emma until I return. Absolutely, Helena. If you need to go back home earlier, please don't hesitate to call me. I'll be here to support and care for Emma in your absence. We're a team, and I want you to know that I'm here for you no matter what. And hey, I want to apologize for ever doubting you before. I realize now that you have Emma's best interests at heart, and I'm truly sorry for any misunderstandings. Amber, thank you for your kind words and understanding. It takes a big person to admit their mistakes, and I appreciate your sincerity. Let's put any doubts or misgivings behind us and focus on what's important, Emma's well-being. I promise you, I have no intention of taking any legal action against you. We're all in this together. And what matters now is giving Emma the love and care she needs. I'm glad to hear that, Helena. Let's leave any legal threats behind us and move forward with compassion and unity. Emma deserves nothing but the best, and I'm committed to providing her with a safe and nurturing environment. If there's anything else I can do to support you, please don't hesitate to let me know. We're in this for the long haul, and I'm here to help in any way I can. Niall, where are you? Oh, I'm in the next state over. A colleague of mine at work just passed away. He was transferred to my office and working apart from his family. I was so surprised to hear the news. Even so, how could you leave Emma all by herself? It was snowing hard, you know? What? I got a call from Amber. What? Emma was outside alone in that heavy snow? No way. She was so mad at me. She even said, I'm suing you and I'll raise her myself. What the heck is going on? Wait a minute. How's Emma doing? Amber found her quickly, so she's fine. She's at her house right now. I tremble to think what would have happened if she stayed out there all alone. What the heck is going on? I can't believe it. Huh? What are you talking about? It's my mom. Huh? The night you left for the hospital for her mother, I got a call that a colleague of mine at work had just passed away. I wanted to go right away, but Emma was there. So I talked to mom about it. Oh, really? Of course! I can't think of leaving Emma at home. That's why I asked my mom to take care of her. I wanted you to talk to me before talking to your mother. But I didn't want you to worry about it. I mean, you were probably preoccupied with your mother, and you said you didn't want me to tell my mom about your mother, right? Yeah? So, when you had to leave the house for a few days to take care of your mother, I asked my mother to take care of Emma. I wouldn't have minded if you told me if it was such an emergency. But, you know, I thought it would be too much on you. What do you mean? Well, my mom didn't have a good impression of you. She keeps saying, how long is he going to keep working? 
She is a child, so she should stay home while Emma is little. I wonder if she's feeding her with nutritious food. She was complaining about a lot of things about you. Really? She doesn't approve of you as a wife or a mother. I didn't. I really had no idea. Amber was very kind to me when we were together. She told me that it's hard for a woman to work and raise a child. She told me I could always count on her. That's what she might have been saying, but... There are people who complain behind people's backs, you know. Yeah, I guess. I'm sure my mom is one of those people. I can't believe it. I'm so shocked. That's why I didn't say anything to you. I see. I'm shocked. But thank you for telling me. That's why I wanted to keep this to myself. But something doesn't add up. Amber has always been so supportive of me. Maybe that's because we are the ones sending her money, right? Oh, you mean... You mean she was supporting my work because she didn't want me to stop sending money? I think so. I'm getting more and more shocked. But she loves Emma so much. Isn't it strange that Emma was left in her care and she was out all alone in the heavy snow? Sure, but... But if it's just a way to tell me that I'm not qualified as a mother, I think I understand. I'm sorry about my mother. I'm really sorry. If that's the case, I'll tell my mother what happened, and I'll go home now. You can't come home today, right? Well, even if I tried to go home, it'll be after midnight. I understand. Okay, I'll get ready now. Is your mother all right? She's stable now, and they say she'll get better. If anything happens, I'll be back with Emma. Right now, I'm just so worried about her. Sorry, I didn't know this was going to happen. It's not your fault. You went to support your colleague's family. Okay, thank you. Take care then. Take care of Emma for me. Amber! Thank you for taking care of Emma. I just came home from the hospital and I'm going to pick her up right now. Oh, are you okay? You didn't have to worry about Emma. But I'm worried about leaving Emma with you. Huh? It would be a disaster if something happened to Emma. Hey, what's with that tone? Niall told me you said you were supporting me. But you actually weren't. I heard you were complaining about me a lot. Didn't you? Huh? I think there's a problem with you as well, don't you think? Niall left Emma with you and went to a funeral. Why did you come to her house? It doesn't add up, does it? I demand an explanation. What? He didn't tell me anything. He didn't even ask me to keep her. I don't understand. Even if he didn't call you, it's strange that you would visit us in the middle of a snowstorm. People go out even in the snowstorm if they have to. Not everyone stays home. In fact, people are working. What then? Are you saying Niall is lying? That's the only thing I can think of. How could I take Emma out in the snow? What kind of a person would take Emma out alone in the middle of a snowstorm to go to a colleague's funeral? Even though he's my son, I don't understand. When he called you, he used the company phone. The company phone is automatically recorded. I'll get an audio recording. Amber, please tell the truth. Depending on how it turns out, I'll sue you. What? Wait a minute. Did I talk to him on the phone? I don't remember at all. Huh? Helena, how's everything? Is Emma safe? Emma's fine. So, did Mom admit what she did? I... I just couldn't believe what you told me the other day. I just couldn't believe that generous Amber would do such a terrible thing. Are you saying I'm lying? I wanted to believe you. You two are both so important to me. I didn't know which one to believe. Mom is lying to get what she wants. She tried to harm Emma to punish you, remember? I know. I had to think carefully about what to do. I decided to check with your company about your colleague's incident. What? And then I was told that nobody had passed away in the company. Didn't you go to a funeral? 
That's... Where did you go without Emma? Huh? That's, well... I'm staying at a hotel alone. Why? Ever since you went to the hospital, Emma's being selfish. She wanted to see you. She said she wanted to see her grandma, too. She got out of hand, and I got angry. So I took her outside to punish her. Then I came back about 20 minutes later, and she was gone. I was wondering what to do when I got a call from you. And you told me she was at my mom's place. Hmm. I don't know. The timeline doesn't match. What? I thought it was your mother who you called first. And you told her you were going to be at your colleague's funeral, right? Huh? Did I? I don't think that's possible. Why are you trying to lie? Because if I told the truth, you would get angry, right? Huh? She'd be mad if I told her I kicked Emma out in the middle of a big snowstorm. That's why I blame Mom. You are such a horrible person! Actually, your mother is seeing this text right now. What? She's standing right next to me. Niall, what's going on here? I wouldn't kick Emma out in the snow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you the bad guy because I couldn't handle her. How dare you! You're so good with other people's kids. What? After talking with Helena, I found out that you've been acting strange. So I hired a private detective right away to keep an eye on you. What? You were happily shopping with a child who was about Emma's age holding hands. I've got a picture to prove it. See? Seriously? I hate to think. But Helena and I talked about it when we saw this. Emma was in your way, wasn't she? That can't be. How can that be? Emma is my daughter. She's my daughter. She can't be in the way. Emma is a smart girl. She knew exactly what was going on with you. What? She talked to me when we were alone. She said you get mad when Helena is not around. She said you sometimes hit her too. Mom, that's what kids say, okay? You don't think she was telling the truth, do you? They're kids. That's why they tell the truth. A child will tell you the truth about anything. I can't believe you. Don't you think your child is cute? You can't treat her according to your own moods or your convenience. You stay out of it, mother. Emma is mine and Helena's child. It's none of your business. What do you mean it's none of my business? I'm talking about Emma, my granddaughter. Shut up. I think what your mother said is true. Even you say that, Helena? Because there's no excuse for it. I even have pictures. I was very shocked to hear Emma's story. I never thought you had done such a terrible thing to her. What were you thinking? Hitting your own child. And she told me you said, Daddy doesn't need you. I never said that. I never said that. Are you saying Emma is lying? You may have forgotten, but she remembers. I can't tell you how much it hurt me. She must have been terrified when she was left outside. Alone in the heavy snow? I will never forgive you. Wait. You don't believe me? Did you forget that we have a camera watching over our house? Huh? Sometimes you let Emma stay home, right? You said we should install a camera or in case something happens. Even if it's only for a short time. It was your idea, remember? Well... That camera recorded everything. When Emma told me everything, I went back to the house to review the recordings. Then I found it. What you told Emma. Daddy doesn't need you. That's a lie. You can't lie to me now. There's a recording. You were kind to me. And I thought you were the best dad for Emma. I always believed that. That's not true. Maybe I lost my head for a second and it just slipped out of my mouth. No. I saw a picture of you walking, holding hands with a girl about Emma's age. We were in your way, weren't we? You thought we should just disappear, didn't you? That's why you left Emma outside, all alone in that heavy snow, right? Helena, what are you talking about? You better stop talking like that. But then, against all expectations, your mother showed up there. Your plan went south. And you made your mother the bad guy. You made me want a divorce. That's enough, you know. 
Huh? That's right. Why didn't you tell me the truth? You could have said you wanted a divorce because you have a lover. Because if I told you, you would ask for alimony and child support and all of that stuff. That's why I want you to say you wanted a divorce. That's a sweet idea. Huh? You shouldn't think you can get away with this after hurting Emma so much. I'm going to charge you alimony and child support as much as I can. What? I can't pay a lot of the money. I don't know about that. You're going to pay me the maximum amount I can charge you. Oh no, there's no way I can pay that much. Get real. It includes a betrayal fee for me, a liability fee for Emma, and a nuisance fee for your mother. You will pay for everything. You did that much, so consider it atonement for your sins. If you divorce me, I still have to raise my kid. How am I supposed to live with that? You betrayed and hurt all three of us. Don't you have the heart to say you're sorry? Because it's my mother's fault, isn't it? Excuse me? If my mother hadn't found Emma, none of this would have happened. I didn't think you were that jerk. You're insane. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. From now on, you'll have to talk to my lawyer. Huh? You're not even going to talk to me? You're driving me crazy. You know that? Please go ahead and talk to my lawyer. Then go live happily with the family of the person you cheated on me with. And then it seems like people in your company are talking about your vacation. Huh? I just got a call from a lady who answered the phone. They are talking about who you went to a funeral with. What the heck? I guess the only thing that got ahead was the story that you went to your coworker's funeral. So I told them that it seems you went to your lover's place. The woman who answered the phone seemed to be a very gossipy person. Maybe there are new rumors by now. Huh? Why would you do something so unnecessary? She seemed to be worried about you. So I thought I'd report it to her. You... You did something unnecessary. It's going to make my position at the company worse, you know. But it's true. It can't be helped. Well then, good luck. Wait a minute. Helena! Helena! After that whole ordeal, Niall ended up getting taken into police custody for the abandonment of a parent or guardian. It was a pretty serious situation. But at the same time, rumors started spreading like wildfire throughout the company about his affair and alleged crimes against Emma. It was like a whirlwind of gossip that everyone just couldn't resist. And guess what? Even the president of the company got wind of it eventually. Imagine that! Well, you can probably guess what happened next. The president didn't waste any time and promptly fired Niall. Making it clear that the company didn't want an employee who couldn't even take care of his own children and family. Ouch! Talk about a harsh reality check. But hey, it's not like Niall was completely innocent in all of this. Especially considering the whole affair situation. To make matters even messier, the woman Niall had the affair with mysteriously vanished from his life before he even had a chance to blink. Talk about being used, right? But you know what they say. Karma has a funny way of catching up with you. I took matters into my own hands and filled a claim for alimony against her as well. I mean, it's only fair, right? She played a part in destroying my family. So she should face the consequences too. To be honest, I have no idea where Nyla is living right now. He kind of dropped off the radar, and I haven't bothered keeping tabs on him. It's probably for the best, though. I've moved on, and so has Emma. Speaking of Emma, there was this one day when there was a heavy snowfall, and Amber, bless her soul, ran out of milk and had to go buy some. And guess what? It was pure coincidence that she happened to pass by our house and ended up saving Emma. I can't even begin to express how grateful I am to Amber. Seriously? That moment still gives me chills when I think about it. If she hadn't been there at that exact time, who knows what would have happened to Emma? She truly is our guardian angel. And you know what's even better? We now live close to each other. And Emma gets to split her time between our home and Amber's place. It's like having an extended family. 
And I hope Amber will continue to be there for Emma as she grows up, always offering her warm support and love.